Yo, what's going on everyone? Long time no see. I know that, no excuses. Basically, I haven't not been vlogging. I just have not found the time to get the editing done, the upload done. I haven't had a time to sit down because I've just been traveling non-stop. It has been crazy. So what you're about to see here is an Australia vlog. Next up after that will be a Maldives vlog and a bit of a life update in there as well. And then right now I'm actually in Heathrow Airport and I'm just after finishing five days with the Alfley team in London. We did an event, it was amazing. It was so good to catch up with everyone and plan the next couple of months. I've also got two new projects coming up that I'll tell you about, but they are huge. Like they're, they're gonna be like a series in themselves. Okay, and then I'm also beginning my cut for summer, um, so I can't wait for that to really bring my best physique yet. So, so much things coming up, but right now this is an Australia vlog. I just want to give you guys an update, say I appreciate the support so much. You know, I'm not disappearing off of YouTube at all. I've been vlogging, and I'm still absolutely in love with making videos and creating content. So enjoy the Australia vibes, and then after that it's a Maldives vlog, and then London, and then back to Dublin. Much love, guys, and yeah, enjoy the video. Done. I just woke up. We're gonna learn how to surf this week. And then also how to speak as well. Yeah, yeah, that surfing first though is more important. Yeah. Gold Coast and we have a bit more success with this Airbnb. It is absolutely bang on. So I'll give you a quick little tour. This is the main living area. We've got the kitchen here. It has like a blender, microwave, everything. And we just did a little bit of a food shop too. Just so we'd be hitting our protein intake this week because we still have that life. Nice big table here that's going to be a good working space. Two couches, decent balcony with a sick view out there. Very nice indeed. House comes complete with a Joey D. Hiya! <laughs> and then we got my room in here. And the rooms are pretty similar, but mine has nice, sexy rug of some type of animal. So we're going to chill out now. It's like pretty late. I think it's coming up to like eight or nine or something. So we just did that grocery shop and hung out with Friesma, who actually lives here. He's another uh, Australian YouTuber. Uh, he's actually from New Zealand, but he lives here. And tomorrow we got a fun day of activities planned. See you guys then. So starting the day by picking up some new toys. Our version of toys is camera equipment. All we spend our money on for the most part is camera equipment and travel. Isn't that right, Joe? Yeah, sometimes like prostitutes and stuff like that, crazy parties. Yeah, you're not meant to say that online though. <laughs> <laughs> we picked up the new GoPro 7 Black and then Joe also got a wrist wrap there. I got one too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go subscribe to Joe, buy his meal plans and then maybe one day he'll be able to get the 7 Black. Hero 7 Black, that is it. And then here is my old one. This is the Hero 6 or 5 or something. So definitely looks a little bit cooler being black, but I think they're the exact same size. I also got a new SD card. This was $250. It's like a quarter of the price on this, but anyways, it's worth it. When you're a content creator, memory is like such a pain. Like I always get the, the largest file size on an iPhone or any of this. So yeah, we're flex, but okay. First clip on new GoPro, say something cool. Let's go for a run. <laughs> look, at that, look at that gimbal action. <laughs> <laughs> the main thing with the new GoPro is the stabilization and it is absolutely crazy. Like this is just with my hand and it's like it's on a gimbal. Oh, where's the shot? Shit, there's a shot! Boom! Boom! <laughs> Boom, get the shot, get the shot! And then you're like, wait there, I want to see my face. <gasps> This is sick. <laughs> it's like the Avengers off of YouTube. I'm also going to the Maldives straight after Australia pretty much. Going to London for like two or three days, then going to the Maldives. So like it, it was a responsible buy. Like I've definitely spent money on worse things. But anyways, we're going jet ski safari now. The weather is absolutely brutal to be honest. It's like really windy. You know what? We're just gonna say that's gonna make for an adventure. An adventure. What is the saying again? It's like what, what choppier you... waters make for better sailors. Yes, what is life without the Risk of death. There you go. Made up, but it great, I'm gonna get that tattooed now. <laughs> right, Jeski Spari, let's go.
after a tough day's jet skiing. We got a little halftime coffee break. Cheers, lad. <laughs> yes, yes. It's no Melbourne coffee, but she'll do. <laughs> Sacrifice the dog. I love it. Doing a hike today, burly heads climb, and we're about 10 minutes into it. We're going off the beaten track ride. This is the danger zone. Freeze my you mad bastard. Breaking all Follow the me. rules. Follow me. Look at this. Don't show them this. Like, yeah, 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 you didn't see nothing. Apparently, we're going to a place called Cock Rock. Meant to be super cool, very scenograph scenographic. Very scenic, very photographic. Oh, there's definitely some balls on my YouTube channel now. <laughs> Probably can't hear me because it's so windy. It is honestly like a hurricane, but we gotta get the shot, man. I will die for the tubes. I will freaking die for these YouTube videos. All right, you better like the damn thing. Comment down below, is this lizard thinking about us or is it just being a lizard? Yo, this is honestly like Pokemon, wildlife, Rob, Rob, go safari. Try, this, this is me this when is I try chance. to talk to girls in the club. Approach gently. That was an accurate depiction of me in the club trying to pull. Or me on Love Island trying to pull. Next up on the safari is, I'm gonna run around and get him. We have a turkey, people. Wow. A wild turkey. The jungle safari continues. We have seen three lizards, a turkey. I've been told there's koalas in the area. This is pretty much an Australian safari. Just back from one of the nicest beaches we've ever been to in our entire life. Like I hope the footage did it justice. Like it was like something out of a movie, complete with like a creek and a bridge to jump off. Like next level stuff. And we also nearly died twice today because apparently that water had sharks in it, bull sharks, as that fisherman guy was telling us. And what was the other time we died? Oh yeah, yeah at the top of Cock Rock when it was really windy. Um, like, honestly, I don't know if the camera picked it up, like, but it was like gale force winds, but we gotta do it for the tubes. So now we're back, uh, we're going to for dinner later in this epic burger place. It's called uh, Z Pickle. But right now, we're just gonna have a little snack, so it's gonna be one of these protein yogurts. That's so juicy with the flash on it. And Joe wins. <laughs> Yeah, that looks insane, doesn't it? It's got the brisket on the bottom, man. It's got it's two patties and the brisket on the bottom, man. It's heavy. So we went for epic burgers in this place called Z Pickle. It's like one of those like real just dirty foods, like outrageous burgers. I got one called the Pablo. What did you get? They all got mad edgy names, like, but basically the big massive burgers that are like this big. They hooked us up. It was a great meal. We got like some crazy starters. How many cows would you say in that one meal? I would say probably over 2k. In that meal yeah. alone. All right, keep it real right here. <laughs>
All right, nine all. Nice fucking fucking game. All right, let's go, okay. We even got a ball cam here. That sounds so wrong. It's 9 8 to Joey D. I need to get this. I actually like the video for our attempt. Oh, babe. Yeah! I'm not gonna lie, he won the first. Not gonna act all great. We're both still useless at basketball. <laughs> like. Is ready for a road trip. Fucking ready, boy. All right, let's yeah. do a poll. Do these sunglasses suit him better or change? I was just trying to see how these look through. Yeah, yeah better than your because it's glasses, not always right? the outside. Oh, look. mate, you're already like before you put them on, you're all going skiing, lad. Mate, you look like a ski instructor. No, 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 you guys combo. don't understand the fashion down under. That uh, is no, but here's the fashion. thing. No, no, no. Now compare the lens. It's about the quality, these not the way it looks. Motherfucker, no, no, no. Put those on. Try put those on. Phone through them. You can't even see it, man. Put them on. Put them on. Tell me that. It's nice, like it's subtle. He looks like a fucking sick. Kind of well, you look like stuff? trailer no, trash, no, no, bro. You guys got no idea. You look like Kenny Rogers or Kenny <laughs> Powers, that's it. In two years, you guys will be wearing these. Right. Yeah, right. We are going on a road trip to Byron Bay today, meant to be one of the most scenic places in all of Australia. Sit back, relax, enjoy the vlog. We are trying out these mini bitch cans. It's going to be the same liquid going into my mouth, but like, there's just a part of me that feels weird. There's part of me that likes the big can in my hand, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean, man. So to start off the Byron trip, me and Joe pulling out our cameras. The vlog, this beautiful walkway that we're doing, right? And literally when I'm taking out my camera, it flies out of my side pocket at the back, falls down there, and we watch it, literally like a rock, just tumble all the way down to the very bottom. So I just climbed down and got it. I can't believe it, Sony Horex, and it's working perfectly. Put a dirt on it, a few scratches, but that just adds character to the camera now. We're in Byron Bay doing the lighthouse walk and now I really appreciate my camera so let's make a sick vlog Joe got 26 I bitched out before 20 <laughs> come on come on let's beat that smug bastard Joe come on that's it. Oh, that. There we go. First workout of the day. Probably gonna train properly later on. Yeah, lots of pumps, bro. Sprinting up the stairs. Are you from Ireland? That's it, yeah. It's so nice to meet you. The top of the lighthouse at Byron Bay. Got these little things specifically for vlogging and taking photos, right? Screwing the camera here and on top. That is what we need. Like, we need more of that in Dublin. Like, Dublin City Council. This is a call out to you guys to get more of this. Oh my god, we're naturals. We both got it on our first go. That is insane. Subscribe to Joey D and go unsubscribe to me. All right, boys, where are we? All Noosa. Right, we're on the beach. On the beach. Pro surfers today. We've had five minutes of uh, coaching, or maybe ten. The boys are just learning this basic uh, process to stand up and go surfing. So eyes over your shoulders, boys. Here comes a wave, five meters away. Back foot in the air, toe up, and paddling. Three, four, five. Wooshka. One, two. Chicken wings. Bum up. Back foot. Front foot. Eyes up. Woo! Looking good. Oh, and the yeah. sharkers. Woo! <laughs>
comes the boys after the first session. I feel like we're going to go pro by tomorrow. <laughs> we can now leave our like fitness and bodybuilding sponsorships. We're now looking for surf sponsorships. <laughs> it's like a little escalator, you know the ones in the airport that are flat, but yeah. you still go faster on them? Yeah. That's what it's like. When you get going, it's just like, it's like skiing or something. It's a really just nice sensation. Yeah, and, and chatting a few of the girls up, I saw you. Uh, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Off the record, cut the tape. <laughs> this is our first solo one, completely on our own. Let's see how we get on. Just waiting for a wave. And then I'm gonna turn pro. Lovely. Truly at one with nature now. Don't recommend doing that in Ireland. Absolutely perfect beach day. We just shared up, get all the sand off us. We're actually just saying there how good YouTube is to kind of make you do stuff and make you get active. Like there'd be no way in hell that we'd be doing all those sprints and races without a camera. I know that's terrible to say, but look, it is what it is. So we're gonna say goodbye to Watego's Beach. I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong. One last look at that piece of paradise. Oh my God. We haven't eaten like a proper meal all day, so we're really hungry. So we've been recommended a place called Light Years. Did you enjoy today? Buzz Lightyear, yeah. Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, good day. We're also yeah. making Freezma yeah. return yeah. to YouTube. So everyone go subscribe to him. Vlog oh, of the Gods is on the way. So let's yeah. get out to a mill. That's on 990k, Rob. There you go. Let's 10x it. Let's 10x it. Vlog of the Gods. <laughs> Food time. Let's go. We're in this place called Light Years. Guy did a podcast with the other day. Lockie recommended it. Corn crackers. Yes. The setting, the music, everything is bang on. Here's a look at the menu. I don't know what I'm going to go for. It's like Asian. Light Years fried chicken, sriracha, mayo, lime. Okay, I picked an easy one. Shit take, ginger, chestnut, <laughs> montan. Okay, go on. Kingfish, ceviche. Oh, I always mess up turmeric or turmeric. That's one thing my subscribers yeah. pull me on a lot. Right. Oh, you boys and girls keep me young. I'm gonna order, and I'll show you what we get when it arrives. It just looks like normal pickles, but kimchi flavor. So I wonder if it's the same as kimchi, i.e. very cold, but very hot. Okay. It's Korean, it's fermented cabbage. He's doing a really spicy thing. It's going on. Like it? Yeah, yeah. It's just like pickles. Mm, that right. one's strange. It must be beetroot. Yeah, it's not That'll be the easiest one, right? Cabbage. Oh, cabbage. Yeah. Mm. It's not actual yeah? kimchi. Yeah? It's kind of kimchi it flavor. On. Sets you up for a good meal. Cleanses your mouth. My order just arrived. Fried chicken. Looks unbelievable. Kind of like calamari. Lime on the side. And the dipping sauce. Damn, we got a healthy serving of greens here. There's like a decent amount of broccoli in there. I'm impressed. And I think there's like... Hoshin or Hoisin, whatever it's called. See, Roshin is an Irish name and it's spelled like Hoshin. So there we go, more wrong pronunciations. Yeah, and then we got the rice arriving. Yeah, that's just me, I'm just playing rice. Yeah, that's Plain me. rice, day one. <laughs> Sums up your personality, yeah, exactly. dude. Exactly, just a plain motherfucking <laughs> workout, doing a proper good legs and abs session, hit everything, didn't skip out in sets, feel amazing afterwards. So now we just went to this place, it's like two minutes down the road, just some chicken teriyaki place. So we all ordered three bowls, extra chicken, sauce on the side, so that's how we do it. So hopefully it's decent when it comes out. Good leg session, bro. It was actually pretty good. Yeah, we needed that. Yeah, we did. Even though we sprinted at the beach yesterday. I know. Like legs are ruined. Anyway. We're being active We can't AF. skip our leg days, eh, yeah. we we're being We're that. being so fitness. It's actually great. I love it. In comes the aspartame. Yeah, give me that. Carcinogen water, baby. This is more nutrient shuttling here. Spike the insulin even though it doesn't exactly. spike the insulin. People think it does. Golden doodle. I think so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Max yeah. tuna oh, be yeah. all yeah. over that. Yeah. We just wait her for the, for the dog benefits. The dog He's so nice. Yeah, look at his like, rig, bro. His rig? <laughs> He's a beast. Man. Yeah, he is a beast. Yeah, they big, get, they big, get big, big limbs, yeah. bro. Max, if you're watching this, I am coming to hang out with your dog, not you. So we got the mayo kind of on the side. Freezy just went all in there. has got a little on there, baby. Time to eat, boys. Well, Excuse me, mate. You're stopped in the middle of the road. Hi, mate. Do us a favor and fuck off. All right, people. So, Jim Gunn freshened up a little bit. And now, to make today even better, we're going to go in and go on a little bit of a shopping spree. There's also a barber in Culture Kings. We're going to go in and come out and you man. Let's go. There we go. 
going on, buddy? Well, yeah. good to meet you. How's right. things? Uh, What's cracking, bro? Uh, good, good. Right? Sick day, yeah. sick day. Giving us the cribs. Let's go. Holy shit, bachelor pad AF. But you are in a relationship, right? Ah, uh, this is beautiful. <gasps> oh. Hey, oh. Oh. Hey, I'll give you a little toy, actually. Yeah. Good selfie, Mayor. Yeah, teamwork. Office in here, bro. Sick, sick. Pretty minimalistic at the moment. Still cool. Yeah. That's who you want. You want to keep it clear to head, keep it simple. Got Still some good, good books going on there as well. Cat's bathroom. He owned, oh, he's moved the whole little box. Yeah. What a mad bastard. Joe's right in the fridge. This is the fountain of youth, mate. There you go. 100% free of all fluoride, chlorine, yeah. sodium, and additives. Prisma is a bit of a conspiracy theorist and he yeah. doesn't believe we should be uh, drinking fluoride. Does this guy drink fluoride? He's never been an Irishman, I can tell you that. But mm. uh, he drinks fluoride, poor little guy. No. He likes the smell of you, Rob. That's your way of saying I smell bad. <laughs> or, li or like a cat. Just through the magic ovens. So we're just finishing up. Such a good day. We had some really good conversations today. We obviously, the three of us, get along very well. We're a team now. And so we're talking today just like about every topic. And a really good topic that we started talking about was Friesma brought up about your know, motivation and how he kind of fell off the gym for six weeks and how it was even harder to get back on the wagon after that. So it's kind of like the longer you've been off, the harder it is to get back on. So enlighten the viewers. It's good. We, on this channel, we just talk about topics. You know, we pick a topic in the video, we go on about it. So Friesma, take the mic and tell us how did you get your motivation back? The major key to motivation and losing it is when, you know, get more distant from your why you're doing something. So when that why starts to kind of fade out, obviously when you're starting something and you're so pumped for it, like why are you doing it? You know why you're doing it because you're, it's going to improve your life drastically or then I guess the more you do it, you take it for granted it becomes a part of your life, the, the why kind of, you don't think about it as much because it almost comes routine. So Rob, I'd say that you just need to always just think why you're doing something. And, and I guess sometimes if you lose motivation for something, Maybe it's because the why is not strong enough. Maybe you need yeah. to go do something Maybe different. Should. Giving up is always an option. But like, yeah. not even not even as a joke. Like, like you don't have to be unnecessarily attached to something that was once your goal, because you people change at a fucking rapid rate, and you, what may have made you happy at one point, you might discover that isn't going to make you happy. And so blindly chasing towards a goal just because you wrote it down on a fucking piece of paper. My input from the back seat. Let's do mine. How do I get my motivation back when it goes? Um, so I would like agree with Freeze. My you you remember why you started and you know what made you begin but with me is like let's say I lose motivation with like work putting out content or even training and going to the gym you know staying on top of my diet I'm just kind of like Rob you know that's what makes you happy like you know you're going to be happier when you're on top of your shit 
Like, you know, you know your happiness levels and, and just your satisfaction, your fulfillment isn't on point when you're not doing these things that you know you're meant to do. So oftentimes, like, I just tell myself, I'm so straight up myself, though, I just tell myself, like, you know you're going to be glad you did this. So that's it. They're, they're the car chats. There's three different opinions. I'm going to wrap things up here. We're all so tired after running around the beach all day. We're both on the dairy vortex. That's Joe likes to call it. He's doing two yogurts at one time. Like, that is just a disgrace. I'm being responsible with one. Such an epic day today. Byron did not disappoint. We're very proud of ourselves for doing a successful day trip and being productive as well. See you in the next vlog. Keep it real. Peace.